When we are learning our times tables, we become familiar with this. 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, 3 times 4 equals 12, 4 times 4 equals 16, and it goes on. The numbers 4, 8, 12, and 16, and so on, are called the multiples of 4, because they are the answers we get when we multiply 4 by each of the whole numbers. We can list the multiples of 4 like this. I like to put a 4 and a colon, and then list the numbers with commas. 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Thus, if we start doing the times tables for 5, we get 1 times 5 equals 5, 2 times 5 equals 10, 3 times 5 equals 15, 4 times 5 equals 20, and so on. Now we can list the multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. And if we need to, we can go further. We can put 25, 30, and so on. You'll notice that I am adding 5 each time. Knowing how to list the multiples of a number is useful when we are working with sets, and also when we are expanding fractions, like when we find the common denominator while adding and subtracting fractions.